This is a joystick, right? Yeah. Real joystick. A real joystick. So it was for Atari. Yeah. That's a fire button. What kind of Atari? Uh, Atari 600XL. 600XL. So was it a game console or something else? So this is. This was early personal computer, actually, with this Motorola 6. Self-made? Yeah. Self-made. It's pretty well braided also. Yeah. This is the end, right? No, no. This, uh, this one is... This one? This is handmade connector. It's a handmade RS232 port, I think. Uh, for this joystick, it was uh, analog uh, and, and also the digital input port. How did you make it? Uh, it's uh, made uh, from, uh, I think, uh, three, uh, four or five layers of PCB board. Glued together? Yes. With uh, this uh, super tech, it was also uncommon in USSR, but uh, from Germany. We so, so you used it in the Soviet Union to play Atari. Yep. No wait, this is another one. Yes, this is a this is a digital joystick, and another another is analog. Analog. It's an analog to, joystick. Uh, X and Y. Uh, axis and two bus buttons. Oh, that's a gem. Just look at that. Very nicely braided. Oh. 
and this is remote control for tape recorder. The tape recorder also for Atari. Um, uh, for Atari, yes, we had uh, a tape recorder, but uh, it was uh, dedicated uh, tape recorder. But this is for uh, just listening to music tape recorder. Oh, you lis you're listening to your music and then you you play on your Atari. Yep. Well, I'll be damned. Oh man, such an old stuff. Yeah, it's uh, rosé alloy. Uh, rosé alloy. This melting point is 98 degrees, so you can make anything uh, from uh, this alloy and just melt it in boiling water. It's made in 78. Nobody has touched it since '78. Yeah. Nobody has opened these jars and just these are like moon rocks in there. The undiscovered moon rocks. Oh man. Fix key, press.